So, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everyone. I wanted to talk a bit about a life partner. I think this is a very important topic and a favorite topic as well amidst many Muslim girls. It's quite natural because if you haven't been married, I think you're looking to get married, or even if you say that you, you don't want to get married, you must have thought about it. You must have looked around you at your married cousins or siblings or relatives or friends and you see you try to imagine yourself like if ever you had to get married what kind of man would you like or if you are a guy what kind of woman would you like so for a very long time i myself i have been struggling with really knowing what is the kind of man that is good for me so of course i know that when you are young you don't like it when people tell you that you know it's not about the looks it's about the person's character and the way he, they treat you that's not 100% correct of course looks are important you can't marry someone for whom you have zero attraction and you are disgusted towards him because marriage involves uh, attraction of course so it's a very important ingredient you're going to live with that person and you're going to have to be intimate with that person so of course you have to have a minimum of attraction I'm not saying that he should be a Bollywood model or very super good looking conventionally but you need to at least not be repulsed by him. So one thing that I would say is that yes I have also turned down an offer of marriage because I didn't feel any attraction for the person physically even if the guy was a very very nice guy, the most good trustworthy guy I think I've never I ever seen in my entire life subhanAllah. So today he got married, He now he is married, alhamdulillah, I'm very happy for him. But just to tell you, like with maturity and experience probably, you see that, you know, even what you want, basically, if we have to simplify it, you don't want a guy who is super good looking, but who doesn't give you that tranquility. You want to find someone with whom you feel beautiful, with whom you feel like you are enough, with whom you feel happy. Just pay attention when you are with a guy. Do you smile or are you frowning? Are you relaxed or are you stressed? Are you feeling worried all the time or uncertain about him having this little nagging feeling in your intuition? Or do you feel like he's like your best friend? You can just be weird with him. You, you can just be even gross with him. You can just be like friends with him. So for me, I think the most important thing is feeling comfortable with a person. I wouldn't have said that before, you know. I always believe in that romantic notion of sexual chemistry and having to you know lots of mind games going on i always thought that you know you have to maintain this perfect appearance so as to attract him of course you need to attract him and he needs to attract you but what i'm trying to say is that i according to me in my own humble opinion so if you are going to be married with someone you're going to share everything with him so if you don't feel comfortable with him talking about all kinds of things or just being weird just laughing if you don't have that you you don't share that bond i think it's not i wouldn't be able to imagine myself with someone like that for me being friends with someone is a huge huge turn on it's a huge sign of compatibility and it can allow me to already imagine myself with that person in the future because you don't want to be with someone who is super serious all the time who takes things a bit too seriously who is easily annoyed or stressed with whom you can't even joke and who always pressurizes you for be able to be perfect or think or dress in a certain way i used to be anyways i won't be telling you i was going to know it an episode with one old suitor ex suitor that i had i won't call it ex-boyfriend or fiance he wasn't even either but i will keep that for another day inshallah so yeah i just feel like every day can be a new beginning if you if you keep in mind all the things that um, have been taught to you according to the islamic philosophy there are so many things which are beneficial for you but you don't see them probably when you are young you tend to see things only from your perspective and you think that you know everything is just uh, 
whatever you think is totally is only the right version is the only right version 100% but I guess when you grow up you experience hardship you get a bit of humility and also Allah will guide you and I you know at the end of the day I think most of us when you reach a certain age beyond your 20 in your 20s before your 30s I think you start to sober down a bit more you sober up sober down I don't know you become a bit more sober you don't live in those filmy illusions where you get too excited about things and then you you know just being too impulsive I think that's one of the major benefits of growing up and also living your life according to Islam because it gives you that sense of reality it's okay to dream but it's dangerous to be having unrealistic expectations and to be living in a world like in the Hollywood or Bollywood scenario because real reality is very very different and yeah there is no doubt that you are going to have a happy successful life you're going to get all the love all the success the help that you deserve with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and put your trust in Allah and sufficient is Allah as a trustee or disposer of it.